Um, one one pro tip I'll give you: um, my cooking started turning out a whole lot better when I started. When I realized that um, to get away from time, more so the temperature. Mm. Um, you know, I like to say it's done when it's done. Yeah. And I know watching us on TV that's kind of hard to believe because it was done when it had to be done <laughs> like it or not it's yeah time. There's no, we uh, had no choice in the matter like hey this is what it's got to be I tried to give myself enough leeway to uh, you know uh, it may be done in this amount of time or that amount of time uh, but always cook the temperature if you cook the temperature um, meaning your internal temperatures not we're not talking fire temperature um, if you cook to your internal temperatures uh, and get them to where they're supposed to be, go get yourself a good thermometer. That's that's the best piece of equipment that you can buy. Um, you don't have to go spend thousands of dollars on a smoker, but go get yourself a decent thermometer um, and uh, and go buy tip. You know, yeah. uh, and it's done when it's done. If you'll do that instead of trying to guess it with time. Um, your cooks will start to turn out a lot better. Agreed. Definitely agreed. And it's one of those uh, certain things you can, like if you can, you, you'll build on that. It's sort of learn the rules and then break it type of thing. You know, yeah. you should at least know that, hey, this is poultry. Got to hit 165 minimum. Got to get, get over there. There's no such thing as medium rare chicken. <laughs> there no such thing as medium rare chicken um uh someone asked what kind of thermometer i use meter meter plus it's a dope one it's wireless put it to your phone whatever do what you got to do but anything that's going to hold your let you know what temperature you it, it, it's at and certain things once you get over temp you can really get the feel like brisket sometimes that brisket may hit the magic number but you'll feel it and it's still a little tight and you'd really be surprised what 20, 30 minutes on the smoker at 250, 275 will do to, to uh, brisket for that short amount of time. It can really cha change the whole world. Uh, so, like I said, it's one of those learn the rules, then break it. But you always want to be safe and making sure that all of your meat is done at the proper temperature. That's it. So that, that's the most important thing I can tell you. You know, stop cooking the time. Um, you know, and I'm, I'm, a, I'm guilty of it. When I first started and kind of got into smoking, um, you know, I used to try to time my stuff and it was all, okay, I gotta, I'm going to let this pork butt go for four hours and then I'm going to wrap it and I'm going to let it go for, uh, another six hours and then, you know, and, and then it should be done. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, stop cooking the time and, and start cooking the temperatures. Yeah. Um, you know, now it's, um, it, it, I was, a, I, when I was younger, I was a stickler for, oh, I got to get my pork button to 165 before I wrap. Mm -hmm. Now I go by color, you know, yeah. I got the color that I want and I want to protect that color. I wrap. It may be 150, it may be 165, it may be 170. Um. You know, so there's no rhyme or reason to it. And that's things you learn as you cook more. Um, you know, the practice makes perfect. And, you know, you, you'll start to pick up these things like after you know, um, Once you've done it several times, you say, okay, well, I know based on the past, a turkey should take me this long. Yes. Yeah. Um, you know, so, uh, yeah, start cooking the temperature and, and get rid of the top. Throw the timer out. Yeah. 